Hello. We is here again. Didn't you miss us? Do you think they answered? I don't know. Do you think they're that I don't, I think, I don't think we left enough, enough gap to guilt trip people into answering. <laughs> so, so basically what you're saying is we should say, how are you? Wow, you're rude. <laughs> that that's what we're after. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Perfectly sensible to me. Anyway, I did the schedule again. It's exactly the same as it was last time. Anyway, back yeah. to where we were. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. No, that's a Batman theme tune. We're not playing Batman. No. We, we can... play Batman next. There's a Telltale Batman game, but we'd have to play it whilst I'm whilst I'm, I'm at your place. Oh, voice acting, yeah. Yeah, voice acting, which we could do. That is one of the things we could do. Um, yeah. <laughs> like him, he says, eh, yeah, okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> playing the game. My phone calendar is telling me that tonight's the night Roxanne's supposed to come over for a study a session. Study session. Isn't that the, the, the psychotic redhead? Oh, yeah, but it will be a study session then. Yeah. Or murder. Murder. I busy myself around the house gathering up a few things to make sure the night goes smoothly. A few snacks, things like that. Most of the rest of the house are caught up on their own studies, so it should be a pretty quiet night. Yeah. Go on. Because so this I... is the weird rabbit hole of social experiments, isn't it? Yeah. Just so I'm finished up the tidying up, there's a knock on the door. Coming. Oh, hi, Roxanne. Come in. Roxanne. Roxanne. Not good at no, red no, light. No. No, yes, thank you. You have a nice place. Thank you. I tried to clean it a little. I should really do that. Um, shall we get started? We can use the study area over there. I call it the bed. <laughs> yes, that will be acceptable. Dun, dun, dun. Together we held over to the study nook. And I actually did the air quotes. Just, yeah. Just so we're all... Clear, and settle in to hit the books. Roxanne is doing well and we really hit a groove studying for a while. It's always fun to share in the studies. Just Unless they're an arsehole, in which case it's not fun. Yeah, just as I feel like we're heading into a particularly nasty bit of the chapter, Roxanne's book snaps shut. And takes her fingers off. What? The books have become sentient All and they're books. angry. All books are sentient. So, have you given any real thought to going to speak with the professor? Not really. May I ask, why not? It seems quite lucrative for you to do so. Have you gone? No, no, I'm just trying to figure out if you have or will. What's your... Uh, just haven't really thought about it. Or what's your yeah. reason? No. Yeah, that one actually has something interesting, possibly. Yeah. Oxam might be trying to wield or something out of me. Well, why haven't you gone down then? I mean, if you want my reasons. I respect my own academic process too much, Anne. I'd rather thought you did too. I do, I do. I have the same reasoning, honestly. So should we get back to work? Yes, I think that would be good. I basically think she's an android. Okay. Yeah. We studied for a while longer, not with Max. Oh, maybe she's a plant. Not literally. Um, <laughs> I was, I was, by the professor. Oh, so maybe. basically, but it's actually an experiment to see these how these individual students react to things. Possibly. And the NPC, and you know the 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 NPCs to the NPCs, which are basically what the people were all wearing the same clothing are. Um, <laughs> yes. Are the actually spies on behalf of the professor? You know those people that, that call uh, contrails chemtrails? That's what you're yeah. reminding me of right now. <laughs> <laughs> Little conspiracy yeah. theorists yeah, going on. mine's actually possible. What, so. <laughs> what, you're, what you're, you're saying that the government doesn't spend huge amounts of money spraying the people that they, they, they represent with chemicals yeah. to stunt Including their themselves. growth. And themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're <laughs> making things up there. I think that's entirely possible. I, I, God, I've seen so many like debunk videos where people in the comments are just like, no, you're just a sheeple. You don't yeah. believe. I'm like, no, because it's bollocks. You know, he's facts and evidence. Facts and evidence. You know, condensation's a thing. Yeah, get it on your windows. 
<laughs> you get it if you breathe out on a cold day, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but oh, but, but enough, how like how could you there. get so many? Uh, how could you get some chemicals in the sky in such a straight line? <sighs> Water is a chemical. Yeah. Everything no, is I, chemicals. You move in a straight line whilst dropping something, and it'll be in roughly a straight and, line. And if you burn something like fuel. Yeah. You get water vapour. Because that's how burning things works. True facts. I don't know why I'm telling you. You probably know you get... I don't know. How good are you at chemistry? Um, I did better on the bits that didn't include direct stuff to valency because I was ill at the beginning of that year and my teacher refused to cover it again. Ah, so basically he was a dick. Oh, yeah. Mm. It was nicknamed Buzz Lightyear because he looked like him. <laughs> to the point where we found in the staff room, like a, in the little kind of side staff roomy things, because there's kind of little storage <laughs> rooms in between the uh, different um, science rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, the, they weren't really the staff room, but the staff would hang out in them because the pupils weren't allowed in them. There was actually a picture that someone had photoshopped of his face over Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> it was just framed off to one side. Oh God! He wasn't in one of the cl- one of the things that he was next to his classroom, which was amusing. Um, <laughs> so basically, yeah. what you're saying is the teachers took the piss. Oh yeah, sounds about right. I remember once when I was at um, when I was at high school, when I was leaving, um, me and my best friend, we were the really good kids, really good yeah. kids, and um, we did um, teachers awards. And we basically went in like a little bit early one day and just stuck them, stuck, stuck like entire sheets of paper of just like really, really obnoxious awards. No one ever expected it was us <laughs> because we were the good kids. And, and and anyone said, was it you? No. Didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. Now I'm a good kid. And I really was. Unfortunately, it's because I didn't care enough about anyone else to get into trouble. So sorry, you want me to do what for you? No. Why would I? Why would I do that to myself? I like my social life out of school, which you're not part of. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Anyway, we studied for a while longer with no more talk about the professor's tactic or tic tacs. It's got a minty white smile. Finally, we tackled the latest chapters and a couple of others. Besides, we both stand up, stretch, and start putting our books up. I rustle, hear rustling in the kitchen and notice Dominic coming out with a soda in one hand and a book in the other. Don't even notice him come down. <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. We were just I'm irrelevant. <laughs> yes, you are. Did you think he just gets off on watching people study? Possibly. Going, oh, yeah, look at those books. He walks over to the couch and sits down, opening his book. Well, I think it's time I departed. Thank you for the study session, Anne. Thanks for coming over, Roxanne. Email me later, okay? Or I get the or, fuck out of my house. Or not, or just just leave me alone and you study and I'll study and we'll do fine. Die in a ditch or possibly add some kind of... Just look at your jacket and realise it's actually a single piece. Just... It is. It really is. Those jackets bother me so much. <laughs> Definitely. She walks out the front door and I lock up, going to sit next to Dominic on the couch. I heard you talking over earlier. Da, da, da. What? 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 I hope you're not honestly going to think about betraying Roxanne. You didn't exactly sound sure of yourself back there. What? Huh? Why is it because we didn't immediately go, well, I'm not going to, defensively? Yes. Because that's not suspicious at all. Because apparently there was no other conversation after that paragraph. During the hours of study. Did it really sound bad? I guess maybe I'm not sure. Well, that's no good. You're you're better than this stupid extra credit thing, Anne. You're not my boss. Also, Fuck it's not off. extra credit. It's not getting no credit. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Wait, how do you know about this whole betrayal thing? Oh, a couple other people from your class are in on it. They've got my physics class. Talk, our task does this thing every couple of years. One of my friends, when I was an undergrad, went through it. Did he get betrayed? He did the betraying, actually. He had a really hard course load at the time. It made his life much easier. Of course, he had a lifelong enemy as well. 
Yeah, because that's how that works. Yeah. Something to think about, eh? Well, not really, because we're not going to betray her, because we're not uh. stupid. Uh. I nod slowly, mulling that one over in my head. This could end up being very dangerous. What you do is you kill and eat Roxanne. It's a plan with no drawbacks. Yep. For one thing, it's providing students with food. So that's, that's <laughs> going to immediately make it more popular. <laughs> True. Okay, so how are we doing? Spontaneous is nearly ready. Hello. Glad I went shopping after all. Valentine's Day is here. <laughs> I remember what we bought. I don't. Oh, oh, I, do. I remember what we bought. I remember where we bought it. I, I, I remember what we bought. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, it wasn't lube, at least. It was close, but it wasn't lube. <laughs> it's, only, it's only in a matter of, you know, where But to be honest, is. some of them are both. So. Mm. Because you don't want to use the wrong massage <coughs> oil as lube. Because <coughs> that could get burny if you use the wrong one. Yes. Unless you're into that, which is a bit odd. And that made it, so that could get a bit burny. But the image of Bernie Sanders pops into my head. <laughs> um, no. He's attracted to massage oil on the lady genitalia, apparently. He just appears. It's part of this ritual to summon him from the void. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he just appears looking slightly confused because he wasn't there a minute before. I mean, oh. you'd be confused as well, I'd assume. Well, glad I, I went... get here. <clears throat> glad I went shopping after all Valentine's Day. I'm just stopping now. <laughs> this is a bit too, a bit too much. <laughs> now I guess it's just a matter of figuring out if I want to make a big deal out of it. It's a pretty nice day out, actually. Weather really cleared up. Made for a nice walk back to the dorm while I figure things out. Like as how I the hell enter, does this building work. <laughs> it doesn't. There's no doors. Oh, fuck, it doesn't have doors. <laughs> As I enter Latin House, I can hear all kinds of noises. Sounds like everybody's home at least. Head up to my room for a moment while I decide what I want to do. I want to play the event, apparently. Yes, yes, we do. I suppose there's no point in waiting around. No time like the present, after all. Really, the only question is, who should I try to find? Oh, we actually have options. <clears throat> We don't have options. Let's be honest about this. Yeah. Though I don't like the idea of giving a massage oil to Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, even to Sally. That'd be amusing because we can't do anything with it. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. Massage oil. Save. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to save. Return. Would you want to find out? That's what Cash you're hovering over. That's a different person. Would you like Dominic? <laughs> I don't see his face. <laughs> just imagine there's no context. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's the massage all. Turns around and leaves. Yeah. Okay, we're doing Dominic. Dominic yeah. is probably in his room. I knock a few times on the door. <laughs> Here he's calling for me to enter from inside. It would have been even better now if it was Lou. <laughs> hey, Dominic. Huh? Oh, Anne, how are you today? I'm doing well. It's a nice day today. How you been? Feeling miserable because I'm single on Valentine's Day. Like if... <laughs> Like every other year. Because, you know, make single people feel like shit day is my favourite day of the year. I know I'm just avoiding the... Oh, no, no, I know you. I'm just avoiding the issue, but it's still nice to just talk with Dominic. We chit-chat rather amicably for a while. Well, I actually came by with the intent of giving you something for Valentine's Day. I mean, it's not the biggest deal, but I thought it'd be nice to give you something. It's not much, but I picked this up for you. Thought you might like some massage oils. It's got a nice, vague, citrusy smell. Oh, um, that's pretty nice, Anne. I guess I could use that stuff sometime. Takes the bottle politely and places it on his desk delicately before turning back to <laughs> Don't think he liked it. I guess that's all I wanted to do. Bye! Dominic nods and smiles at me. Thanks, Dominic! Bye! Thank you! Okay, that was... That was irrelevant. Oh, no. I hope he just really confused. <laughs> he was! Let's find Is Isabella. Yeah. I knock on Isabella's door, but there's no answer. Rakesh is using the TV, so I head to the kitchen, where she's always... Only one person that used the television at once. <coughs> Luckily, so here she is. Works. She's got a small pot of chilli cooking on the stove, but looks up at me as I come in. Chilli, 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 chilli. That's the chilli noise. Yes. yes yeah. I, I, I understand. Hey, honey. Oh, hey, you know this band of love. Oh, shush. You're the one with the boyfriend, aren't you? She's having a boob while she's doing this. 
<laughs> It'll be weird, Isabella. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's even better with the slightly slopping cooking noises as well. What? Oh, I can't hear that. You okay. can't hear the cooking noises, but the cooking oh, noises were just sort of like slop, 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 <laughs> and sizzling. No, they were cooking noises. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, there are cooking noises. Uh, that is true. Though, though we stood each other up for midterms today, so I'm not seeing him again till this weekend. Oh, that's too bad. It's okay, Anne. I know most of you don't really like him. I I'm not dating him, so so y you all can like him. Dating him because of the cock. Yeah. I well, of course, whatever you choose is fine. I don't just don't really see the appeal. Well, that's all beside the point, though. Oh, uh, what is the point? I put a small bag with a ribbon on it from behind my back. It's not much, but I picked this up for you. I thought you might like some massage oils. It's got a nice, vaguely citrusy smell. Oh, you sweet thing. Hmm, I may know she nice ways to test it out. Well, massaging mainly. Yeah. Isabella gives me a seductive look that sends a pleasant shiver up my spine. <laughs> they haven't put the word pleasant in there. That was really such a shiver up my spine. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I hope you like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very much. I'm totally surprised you gave me something like this. I can use it to lube up my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> well, ever since we talked about, you know... I don't know. Sexing! Me liking you? Yeah, I just the thing about you a lot is all maybe, sort of, not really. What's on her own? Mm. Uh, she's holding your breath again. <laughs> oh, well, that's definitely the type of thing I like to hear, cutie. You know, normally I'm the type of woman who likes to be pursued. With you, though, I don't think I would have gotten anywhere waiting for that. No. You haven't really gotten anywhere anyway, apart from a little bit of groping. Yeah. And Which probably is... leaving a greasy stain on her. Yeah. Isabella sighs, frowning as she turns away from me to put my gift carefully on the counter. In a way, I know I'm being unfair to you. I just couldn't let you pass by without letting you know what I think, how I feel. Oh, God. Horny. I guess I can understand that. I guess this is my way of saying that. I didn't really expect this from you. Okay. Thank you so much, Anne. I've got some things to think about. Yes, you do. You're... Chad, naff off. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Isabella. Dump Chad. <laughs> I have to turn this before it burns. We'll talk later, okay? Chilly, chilly, chilly. And, and there's more slorping. <coughs> Definitely. Thanks, Isabella. Bye. Good thing we didn't buy the loop, then, if it's going to have a slorping noise in the background. <laughs> 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 What are you doing with that? Oh, God, we're in the kitchen. Uh, oh. oh, dear God. Oh, man, I can't wait for tonight. I'm actually caught, caught up on my assignments, which means tonight I get to be all about what I want to do. Or words that made sense in an order that made sense. Hey. I might just blow the whole... Blow the whole night reading. I was thought that was going to be a blow the whole house. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> reading something trashy. Maybe I'll go see if any of the latest shows are worth watching. So many options. That, that's two. What, why is she in the house? I don't oh, know. Oh, she's not yet. Okay. Oh, she is. I've forgotten her, her voice. Oh, it was, it was weak and w wussy. Hey, Anne. Here's a bell. Let me in. Creepy as well. Um. Oh, Carmen. Hey, what brings you by? Hi. Picked up a few free passes to the movie theatre. Thought you might want to come out. Oh, how did you know, know I was looking for something to do? I stalk you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Just <laughs> pops up in between. Elbow in the face. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, free movies. Don't mind if I do. Sure. Like I said... I have a few. Come on, let's go see what's good. Three of us held out for a girls' night. Should be fun. And by girls' night, I mean me and Isabella. <laughs> With Carmen <laughs> just paying for things. Yeah. Oh, and that was it. Okay. What? Okay, look at our energy. We need to sleep at some point. Oh, dear God. Now we have no money. No money. And spent it all at the pub. At the pub. Okay. 
Right, so we're back to 43 energy. That's not terrible, but I think... You might want to turn the evening study... Um, into a, a sleep. Yeah. Um, sleep, 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 sleep. Might want to turn one of the pubs into sleep um, so we don't spend any more money. Yeah. Uh, let's do a sleep for you as well. Oh, she has no life. Apart from on Sunday, for some reason, when she gets horrendously drunk. <laughs> oh, she does wall climbing on a Wednesday. That's really a sad. Thing. Why have we got yeah. a bookstore there? That's I don't know. Because we can't do the one we want. That's why. <laughs> you know what? We'll take yeah, a nap. nap. I've given up a job for sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you if you if you're learning in, in college, yeah. pretty much that's how it works. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily for me, but. That was okay. It was just... It's all right. Okay, bird. Okay. I'm heading in fresh out. That wasn't an option. You're not allowed to say that. I barely got the door open when I hear the yelling from upstairs. What the hell did you expect was going to happen? You know the rules, Sally. Puppy. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. I hope that isn't what I think it is. She's brought home 15 oh. more dogs. Come on, Dominique. Maybe I should get out there. Sally's going to need backup. Yes, yes, she <laughs> is. Dogs everywhere. I close the door behind me and run upstairs. It looks like everyone else was home too. They're all watching the scene in the hall. Dominic is... <laughs> it looks like a scary Aragon couple. <laughs> it um. does! This... <laughs> Dominic is yelling at poor Sally while she clings to Vegemite. No, Sally, you know the rules. I walked you through them like I walked everyone else through them. Repeatedly, over a period of hours. <laughs> a period of no days. No pets allowed. It's hall number two for crying out loud. Just under, do not talk about Latin house. <laughs> uh, yeah, because we've never broken a rule before. Now she looks like she's going to eat the dog. Well, if it's an option between that and <laughs> giving it up. Hold, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's not helping your case, Sally. So she can smuggle the dog around. She's going to swallow it whole and carry it in the stomach. <laughs> so what? You're just going to kick me out of the house because I don't want to see a poor puppy freeze on the street? One way or another, that dog is leaving this house, Sally. If you want to go with him, I'm not going to stop you. Wow, Dominic, you're a dick. Yeah. Uh, don't you think that might be a bit harsh, Dominic? Both Sally and Dominic seem surprised to see me standing at the top of the stairs. Stay out of this, Anne. This is a violation, and I have to deal with this as Latin houses are... Rawr. 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 He, he is the sun god. Rawr. Yeah. By now, Sally is just flat no, out she's crying. Just the dog out the window. That's just... <laughs> yeah, it's right, gone then. now. Bye. The others leave their rooms. Isabella gives me a nod hello, then leans towards my ear. Poor Sally. Dominic came home early and could have bring his Vegemite back in from his walk. No way to back out of it now. I nod to Isabella as Dominic continues to chew Sally out. Oh, I uh, can't believe you're being so irresponsible to take on additional responsibility. Not to mention so inconsiderate to your fellow housemates who are all but fine with this except me. Did you ever take their feelings into account when you decided to bring the dog here What the way you spoke to a load of them? What if they were allergic? Actually, I'm not allergic to it at all. Anyone else? Everyone else shakes their head while Dominic frowns. Regardless, what about the mess, hmm? Or the disturbance to your studying? I don't think Vegemite's ever disturbed my studying. You guys? We all shake our head no. I know what you're trying to do here, and it's not going to work, damn it. She broke the rule. The dog's got to go. Totalitarianism away. Oh, please, Dusnick. We all know that you'll never report this infraction. You don't want the mark on your record. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so true. Oh, so that's how it works. Okay, so he gets in trouble if anyone breaks the rules. And he tells anyone about it. Mm. That seems like a terrible system. That is a terrible system. <laughs> You two delinquents, shut it. I know you I, I know you knew about this violation and didn't report it, so don't think you're not on my watch list like you were before. <laughs> anyway. Sally's actually a very responsible pet owner, Dominic. Don't you don't you think you've been a little bit hard on her? I'm sorry, but these are the rules. What am I supposed to tell the housing committee? Oh sorry, I thought that rule was just a suggestion. Dar, I don't be believing it to be strictly necessary that you inform your housing committee. He's right. Nobody says you have to tell them. They're right. You can just keep this under wraps, you know. It's not like they're going to go blabbing about it. 
Ooh. 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 So he can try to appeal to Dominic's empathy, which he doesn't have. have. We could threaten to leave. Yeah. Which I'm also chime in with. Hmm. I quite like that one, actually. What threat now, to leave? Buffy goes, everyone leaves the house. And then who are you RA of? Who are you going to be a dictator to then? Be a dictator to the ants. Is that it? The <laughs> ants and the carpet. Oh, carpet, you can't do that. You're not a rug. Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> okay, fine. I hate to say this, Dominic, but I don't think I could live in a place that forced a little puppy to be kicked out of his home. I'm not going to stay if you kick out Vegemite. Wait, Anne, are you kidding? But, but, yeah, I, I don't think I want to live under Mad King Dominic's rule. If he's gone over the deep end and started kicking puppies around, I'm out of here. Are we not thinking we could condone that sort of cruelty? I would most likely leave as well in your pirate ship. <laughs> not that I'm always looking for excuses to get further away from you, but this seems like a particularly good one. Obviously, I'm going for ever Vegemite goes. Fine! Whatever! You all win! I guess I'll just lose my job and get kicked out of the school! That sounds perfectly fine! Yeah, that sounds like perfectly legitimate yeah. reaction to that scenario. That's not overblown at all. Yeah. Mm. I guess we're not dating <laughs> Dominic then. <laughs> Everyone but Dominic lets it out a cheer at that. <gasps> Huzzah! Huzzah! Dominic kicked out of Huzzah! school! Yar! I mean, I don't need a college education. When they kick me out, I'm sure I could find a nice bridge to die under. I don't need a nice bridge to die under. <laughs> mm. Oh, stop being such a drama queen. <laughs> we all laugh as Sally's put Vegemite down on the carpet and finally lets him explore the house as freely as he wants. Dog, 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 dog. Dog, 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 dog. And you Noisy know what? Mix. I think that's an appropriate juncture to just say, that's it dog, for an episode. Dog, dog. Oh, okay. Well, dog, yeah, dog. we could say dog, 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 dog. Dog, 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 dog. dog. Okay, that is how we're ending the episode. Dog, 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 dog. And end on that piece of text there. Woof, I'm going to fill the burn in the morning. Oh, he changed it.